Do you have multiple pistols, but you're tired of having to constantly swap in between different holsters? Glock 21, 45 caliber, full size frame. Springfield XDM 9mm, another full size pistol. I want to introduce you today to the Blackhawk Omnivore Holster. Now this holster is designed in such a way that it can hold up to 150 different pistols. Basically, as long as it has a rail and it fits inside the dimensions that the holster was designed, you will be able to carry it in this holster. So we have a multi-use, multi-functional holster that we're going to take a look at today. Super pumped to walk through with you. We have two pistols we're going to be running it through. Uh, we got, as you saw there, the Glock 21. That's a full-size 45 caliber. And we have an XDM 9mm. That's also a full-size pistol. So we're going to walk through both of those and just how they mount, how this little system works, and why so far I am totally digging how this works, particularly if you're shooting multiple pistols throughout the day, different calibers, that type of a thing. This offers a great capability of being able to use multiple guns in one holster, not constantly having to take it on and off your LBE system or your belt. So let's go ahead and talk about how this happens and how this holster works. All the magic is with this little rail attachment here. Basically, if you have a rail, Picatinny rail of, and that type of style on your pistol, it should be able to fit this gun. Uh, Blackhawk offers a phone number that you can call if you're having trouble figuring it out. And they have a whole book, little booklet that's a very informative and very helpful in mounting this and using it properly. But basically, you just screw it and attach it onto your rail. It comes with two screws. You can take it off, put it back on. It, the holster itself will come with two of these. So you can do two pistols right out of the gate. And you can buy more of these separately if you, buy, if you have more pistols that you want to run. And you just screw that on to the rail. Now, this is the non-light bearing model. They do have a light bearing model as well. So if you have lights that you already attach to your pistol and you're kind of concerned about this idea, there are two models, and I'll be annotating that in right now, that they offer this attachment with as well. And you just have to decide to choose that particular holster model and that particular attachment model when you are purchasing it. So that is nice that they didn't just eliminate the ability to do lights. If you do like having a light on the front of your gun, they do have um, options for that as well. So as you can see here, there's plenty of space in between the frame of the gun and the holster. So again, wider guns, narrower guns. This is a nine millimeter. The Glock 45 um, is wider, obviously, but it, they will both fit and sit very nicely in here. And all the magic happens with that tab. We're gonna try and sign, shine a flashlight in here for you guys. This little tab right here that's moving back and forth, that locks onto that little tab that's on the rail. So it latches onto that, and then it re is removed when you press the tab. So we're gonna push this in here. You have a very secure click. You can see here I'm moving the, the gun all around. It's not gonna pull out. So it's very secure. It's a level two holster. And you just press and pull. That's all you gotta do, which is awesome. So we're gonna take a break from the range here for just a moment to walk through some more intricacies that would be easier done on the tabletop. Now, to walk through again our guns, and we do have clear guns here on the table for you today. But again, just wanna walk you through this. And these uh, polymer pieces right here are extremely light, like an ounce and a half uh, total you know, weight. So I mean, these weigh nothing and they're not gonna affect any of, in my mind, what the average shooter is gonna experience with a, a pistol, maybe a competitor, um, but that much, that low an amount of weight on the front end of your nose is not noticeable at all. And as long as you don't mind that little hump, I think it's a great idea and very, very functional. Now, the thing that I wanna touch on here with you is this is what you get with the kit. You get the holster, you get a paddle, and so that would be for those of you who don't want to put it necessarily on a belt, and it does have a very good paddle here with a nice hook, lots of attachment points here that you can attach. This is all Black Hawk, obviously, and uh, this even comes, the paddle even comes with these two little tabs here that you can orient things like that. Now, if you don't want to do the paddle, it does come with this belt attachment, which is also very nice. I like it a lot, and it comes with these two little... Um, Extender tabs or tabs, you know, that kind of make the, it fits the belt better, you know, so you don't have this extra space and the holsters wobbling around or when you pull, you know, there's this extra movement. It really locks it into place and you can adjust these all the way up. You can do some cantering.
coming with the holster as well in the setup. And then it also is gonna come with your instruction manual, your two tabs for your first two pistols, and it's gonna come with these thumb pads. Now I'm using the middle one that comes with a standard piece that's like part of the kit, then you can screw it in and either do this medium one, which I'm using, or the extra large one, it just kind of seats over and screws in with two little screws there. So that's an awesome feature as well. So if you have kind of like a high riding gun, it, you can you don't have to dig down and do kind of a weird cockeyed you know wrist flick to try and disengage the thumb uh, rest, which is really nice. So they have different levels for that. On the back here, we do have two different screws. This larger screw is going to remove the whole plate here. If you wanted to mess around with that, there's no reason that you really should have to do that. And then the second screw right here is more of a retention bar. It goes inside and goes down an axe uh, in conjunction with the actual tab mechanism. And I'm going to flash our light in here again. So hopefully you can see, you know, we have our tab, but then below that is a little uh, extra tab that adds resistance or friction. So if you tighten this down, you'll have more resistance or friction when you pull it out, or you can loosen it up and have less. So I have it slightly above um, the, the lip. So it's slightly proud of the polymer and uh, that's the retention level that I like. Now, as you see here, you may notice that I have a blade tech lock attached to this and not using either of these attachments. The reason for that is because of my uh, battle belt that I'm using and the Cobra style belt with the thick, you know, I mean, this is a very, very thick belt and just the system I'm using, this was able to fit on it, but just barely in the window and I was fighting with it so much, it was just easier for me for what I have to do a blade tech lock. This would be great for if you're just just running the belt itself and not the battle belt, things like that, or again, the paddles, if you don't want to use a belt at all, or, you know, use a paddle system instead of a belt system or whatever. Um, so you can absolutely do a blade tech lock as well there. So that was just something I wanted to note. It is riding slightly high for my preference out of the box. And that would be with any of these, with the cantering that these allow, I can't canter the blade tech lock, but um, if you uh, canter these slightly, it helps with that. I am already ordering, right now I'm ordering a slight, uh, kick out and a drop leg uh, blade tech lock piece. It's just a piece of plastic that attaches and screws in and then this blade tech lock will be reached up higher. So it'll be slightly lower. So easier for me to grab not so high ride on my belt. So just something to note there that I wanted to touch on. And then finally with you guys, I love this little bit right here made in the USA. So awesome that Bl uh, Blackhawk is making this system here in the US at a very reasonable price that we're going to touch on and uh, is for everything that I'm seeing for the average shooter. Again, I'm, I'm not a competitor. You know, I'm not somebody who's running, you know, tactical drills and like a, a tactical range officer or something like that. I'm just an average guy who likes to go out and enjoy the range and I have multiple pistols. This gives me the opportunity to not constantly have to be swapping in and out of holsters depending on what gun I'm running. And I love that aspect of it and all the, as and all the, the features that you're, they're giving you at in one package is, in my opinion, a fantastic bargain and very modular if you're looking for a modular system. So I gotta tell you, I love the price tag on this as well, you know, that it's not gonna break the bank for you. You know, when you go out there and you're buying 30 to maybe $60 holsters for maybe three different pistols, that can really add up to a lot of money. But if you use this system, you're gonna pay between 45 and $55. Just depends on orientation because they have right or left-handed orientation and depends on the light mounted system and light bearing holster or the non light bearing like what I have. So between 45 and $55, we'll have links in the description below over to Amazon. That's always a great way to help support the channel and continue for us to do what we do here. So when you use those hyperlinks, but that's uh, I think a screaming deal for what you get in the capability that you have uh, with this holster. I do wanna thank Blackhawk for their willingness to reach out to us and be willing to send this over for us to test out and review for you guys so that you can and see how it operates, the pros and cons, and decide whether or not this is going to be the right holster and the right system for you to enjoy your day at the range. So one thing I want to talk with you real quick and just make you kind of think about food for thought is that if you're going to do this system and it's you by yourself, rock on, it's fantastic. Now, if you're maybe shooting with a partner, maybe your spouse, you know, a loved one, something like that, a friend, um, the downside is that with this mount on the rail, 
unless they have another omnivore holster, you can't swap in and out like, hey, you shoot my 45, I'll shoot my nine. If they wanna do like holster pulls and things like that, they're gonna have to unscrew and remove that rail mount. So something to think about. So if you do a lot of pairing shooting, shooting with you know pairs, uh, possibly maybe buy two of these holsters so that then you can swap in between real quick and you're not constantly having to just put the gun down and the other person gets to use the holster. So just a little food for thought there when you are deciding on this system. So there you have it. I gotta tell you, I totally dig this thing. It gives me so many different capabilities and so many different options. And really, for the majority of pistols that I will ever own, this holster is gonna work for me at a day at the range. So I hope this video has helped you guys out. Thank you so much for coming over here today, checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Any questions you may have, I'll try and answer in the description and in the comments below. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.